Hey guys, so welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. View filters are an incredibly powerful tool in Studio One Pro. They basically allow you to type the name of any track and all tracks that don't have this name get hidden so you can directly work on your bass by just typing in bass. When you would type in vocals, then you would only see the vocal tracks and things like that. This can be very useful, especially when you have like a song template and you use the same kind of naming conventions everywhere. Like for me, it's very common to have folder tracks that are connected to bus faders and these are always called pretty much drums, vocals, bass and so forth. And then when you have the keyboard shortcut assigned to filter tracks, in my case it is this one, then I can just quickly hit that. This directly puts the track this into focus and I can type bass. Now I only see my bass tracks. When I do that again and type vocals, I only see the vocals. And this kind of stuff I have already covered in a separate video, but something that I found out only recently is how cool this actually is in combination with macros that you can then add to keyboard shortcuts or even to MIDI buttons like here on the Atom SQ for instance. And that's exactly gonna be the topic of today's video. So the macros are one of my favorite tools inside of Studio One because they allow you to chain several commands into succession and then trigger them from just one command so you can eliminate redundancies in that way. You find these macros when you click on Studio One and then here Macro Organizer. This allows you to basically create and edit macros and then click on New. And here on the left, you basically just see all of the key commands that are also available inside of the preferences menu. But the difference is that now we can chain these into a keyboard shortcut sequence and then just trigger them from one command. So basically macros are just multiple keyboard shortcuts in one. And what's also really cool is that if you have these descriptions next to the keyboard shortcut names, this means that you can double click the macro and specify it further. So for example, when we have filter tracks, you see that it says filter on the right. This means that once you add this to your keyboard shortcut sequence macro with a double click, you can double click it again and then type in, for example, bass. And now this would be equivalent to you hitting the filter tracks keyboard shortcut and then typing bass with your keyboard. The difference is you can now do that from just one keystroke instead of six or seven. This will really add up and make you super efficient over time. So this simple macro filter tracks and then filter for bass, we could just call that show only bass tracks, right? And once we have that added, we can now click on shortcut. And when we then search for show only base, it should show right up. And now we can assign that to any keyboard shortcut of our choice. In my case, I unfortunately already have a lot of keyboard shortcuts assigned. And so it becomes more and more difficult to memorize them all. And this is why it's so great that these keyboard shortcuts can also be assigned to MIDI controllers, such as the Atom SQ. The Atom SQ is especially perfect for this because you can see the name of the assigned command when you go here on the user page. So I can never forget the assignments anymore because I see them right here on the screen. To assign any commands of Studio One to the user buttons on Atom SQ, the easiest way I find is to quickly go here at the top left where you see control. If you don't see that, then your app window might be a bit too small and then you just have to expand that a bit. Okay. Once you've done that, you should see the second control device menu. And then when you click here, you can just select Atom SQ. And here, you can basically right click to assign any command that you want. So for example, user button one, I can just right click here and assign command. When I now search show only base, I should find my command that I've just added to the macro organizer. And as you can see, it already says show only base here on the Atom SQ, which is really powerful, as you can imagine. Let's add just a few more commands here so that we can show this in all its glory. So we're going to go back to the macro organizer. We click on new and now we're going to do the exact same thing once again. We're going to filter tracks, but this time let's fill in the argument vocals. And this would be show only vocals. You can see where I'm going with this here. Hit OK. And that would be the second shortcut ready to go. Maybe we're going to add just a few more here. And this is especially powerful, like I said, when you use the same naming convention over and over. So when you start with a certain song template and you have a structure in place or you always give your tracks the same name, this is then, of course, even more powerful. In my case, I pretty much always have like a drum bus. I always have a vocal bus and I also have a synth bus almost always because I do electronic music, right? So let's click on new once again and then filter tracks and add one more filter that would be synth, 
right? And that would be show only synth. One more command we should add is show all tracks. This is actually just a keyboard shortcut that's available. You don't need a macro for that. Just kind of like an undo for the filter list so that we can see the entirety of the track list again. We can now head over again to the Atom SQ control surface here and assign all of these commands to our buttons. And we will see that these show up here on the hardware immediately. So show only synth would be the next one. Then show only vocals. And the last one that we want is show all tracks. Great. So now let's try this out in our session here. So this is the entirety of my arrangement that you see right here. And uh, it takes me forever to scroll through all of these tracks. But now, thanks to my new macros, I can, for example, hit show only bass. And this would show me just the bass tracks. Show only synth shows me the synths. Show only vocals shows me the vocals. And show all tracks shows me the entirety of them again. So you can see how powerful this is, especially when you have an Atom SQ or MIDI controller here, where you can just hit these buttons without having to assign any more weird keyboard shortcuts that you can't remember anyway. So hopefully this is going to be yet another workflow boost for you inside of Studio One Pro. Try out the view filters, especially in combination with macros. It's awesome. Thank you for watching.